Hello dear viewers, my name is Nino and today we are going to be replacing the battery of our TomTom Tom Runner 3 watch. Now the good news is that the Runner 3 and the Spark 3 are effectively the same watch. So you can use a Spark 3 battery for Runner 3 and vice versa. In this case I've opted for a Spark 3 battery simply because it was cheaper for no particular reason and it was also readily available, whereas looking for a Runner 3 battery can be a problem. The first step in doing this is of course to remove the actual watch from the strap which is not very difficult although it looks like I'm really having a hard time here. I assure you this is simply because I haven't done it in a while. Then you're going to need a star shaped bit to remove the total of 6 screws which you will find on the back of the watch. And once you have done that and don't forget these top two screws here because they are a bit elusive at first if you don't pay attention but once you have finally removed them you can actually move on to prying open the device and in the meantime I want to tell you something about the battery of this watch it will hold for about a year and a half after that you're going to notice how the battery life just becomes less and less and instead of a week your watch is only gonna hold charge for about three four days and then at some point it's gonna be a daily recharge which is the worst thing ever Anyway, so once you open the watch, you're going to notice that the battery is in there, there's a cable coming out of it, and there's also a ribbon cable. This is why when you pry it open, you have to be extremely careful not to pull too much. Just do it gently, it doesn't take a lot of force. And once you're in there, one of the first things you want to do is actually unstick the battery. Yes, it is glued with a certain adhesive. So you want to go underneath it with anything here, like I do, and just pull it up. Once you've done that, you're going to have a bit more flexibility to work on the actual watch without being in a situation where you could damage it because you're trying to hold it open or anything like that. The important thing that we have to do next is essentially remove the cable. And at first glance it may look like this cable will be difficult to remove because it looks like a cable that you need to slide backwards. But the good news here is that that is not the case. This is a special type of cable which we can just go underneath and gently push upwards with something very thin. It doesn't take much force, it doesn't take a lot of work, it happens within a second. And the beautiful thing about that is that once we have done this, we can replace it just as easily. Just take the next battery which you will have, it will come with a cable like that, and just press it downwards. And speaking of the battery, here it is. I actually ordered two because I know that in a year I'm going to need another one. I'm very happy with the watch. Many people like smart watches which have a color displays and connect to your phone. But that's not what I'm looking for. In my case, I just want to watch which is going to track some of my stats. It's going to show me where I've been. It's going to tell me how many steps I've done. And above all, I want the display to be readable under the sun. Now what I'm showing you here is that the plug has this part on top where you can see the two metal parts. I call them the eyes. And you want the eyes to be visible to you once you plug it in. That's, you know, that's how you know you've done it right. So just push it inwards and make sure that the eyes are looking back at you. The underside doesn't have them and I know that this is not a very professional way to call them but it is an easy way to distinguish them from everything else. Now as for the last step, placing the battery and making sure that it sticks again. The adhesive will do wonders. I've actually replaced this battery at least twice in the past and it still holds as you've seen. However, in this particular case the cable was quite long so I opted for flipping the battery in a way that makes it uncomfortable when you open the watch but it's going to make sure that I don't have a lot of cable sticking out because you do not want to pinch it somewhere that might cause problems. So this is how I decided to do it and by the way depending on how your battery was manufactured where you've bought it from and even if you buy it from the same seller that I've linked it is possible that you'll get a battery that is slightly different they don't have to be completely identical, so be aware of how the cable is and just find the best possible placement. It really doesn't matter outside of the fact that you need to be careful with the cable. Once you've snapped the watch back in place, all you have to do is replace your screws and you're pretty much done. You can then charge the watch and it should work like new. And I mean like new, after each replacement I can easily hold a week's worth of charge. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you guys. It was definitely something that I was very worried of doing the first time around, but once I realized how easy it is, afterwards I was always ready for doing it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.